Good morning, Davao de Oro. Good morning, Z Escuela listeners, especially to all grade three kids out there listening right now from the different parts of Davao de Oro. I am your science teacher for today, Teacher Cherry from Compostela Central Elementary School Sped Center. Together with me, Teacher Jo from Anipungan Elementary School of Mako, and I am Teacher Flom from Compostela Central Elementary School Sped Center. Signing for our special learners. But before we'll proceed, let us first be oriented of the different parts and contents of our module and how to use this module. Do you have your modules now? Okay. The first part of our module is the cover page. In the cover page, you can see there the grade level, which is grade 3. And then, the DepEd logo. In the center, it's Subject Science, Quarter 1, Module 1. And the title of the module, Classifying Objects and Materials. On the next page is the Copyright page. In the copyright page, it states there the date when it is published and the address of the publisher. And in the copyright page also, you can see there the development team of the module, the writers, the editor, the reviewers, illustrator, the layout artist, and the management team. Next to the copyright page is the title page, Science, Quarter 1, Module 1, Classifying Objects and Materials. Next to the title page is the introductory message for the facilitator and notes to the teacher. This contains helpful tips or strategies that will help you in guiding the learners. Next is also the message for the learners. Next is the different parts and the corresponding icons of our modules. Okay, you can see there the first icon. Okay, that icon stands for what I need to know. The next icon, pencil, which means what I know. The next one, the third icon, what's in. The next one, what's new. The next icon is, what is it? Next to what is it, the icon that stands for, what's more. The next icon stands for, what I have learned. Next, what I can do. Next, assessment. Next icon is additional activities. And the last icon is answer key. At the end of this module, you will also find the references. This is a list of all sources used in developing this module. You can also see that some reminders in using this module. On the next page, what I need to know. On what I need to know, you can see there the whole content of this module. Wherein, the module is divided into four lessons. Namely, Lesson 1. It's all about objects and materials around us and their properties. Lesson 2. Solid objects or materials and their characteristics. Lesson 3. Liquid objects or materials and their characteristics. Lesson 4. Gaseous objects or materials and their characteristics. 
After going through this module, you are also expected to be able to identify and describe objects and materials at home, in school, and in the surroundings, and classify them as solid, liquid, and gas. Second, recognize and describe the observable characteristics of solid as to color, size, shape, and texture. Third, describe observable characteristics of liquid as to its ability to flow and how they occupy space. And the last is to name and describe observable characteristics of gas. But for today, we will take up Lesson 1 entitled Objects and Materials Around Us and Their Properties. Next, What I Know. On What I Know page, you are going to check what you already know about the lesson you are going to take. But we will answer that one later. Okay, ready? We are happy to be with you kids for 45 minutes of fun and exciting lessons in science. We have interesting topics to discuss today, so I hope everyone is ready have your modules ready pen your notebook and of course look for a place where you find comfortable okay kids Hooray! you will have fun and after our lesson ends we hope that each of you will identify materials found in our home in your home in your school and in our surroundings. Also, we hope that you can classify these things into solid, liquid, and gas. All right, let's begin. Kids, do you want me to read a poem about matter? Well, it's time to get your modules. Do you all have your modules? Okay, turn it to page 3. Did you found the page? Good! The poem is all about Matter Around Us by Amor M. Garcia. Matter Around Us by Amor M. Garcia Solid, liquid, gas These are the things around us We can see them We can touch them And sometimes we can only feel them Solid, liquid, gas We see them every day we feel them every day. They are lovely because they differ in many ways. They differ in size. They differ in shape. They even differ in color, especially their texture. Solid, liquid, gas. They are useful for us. Let's observe them and learn more about them. Now, you want to read it again with me? Okay, let's do it. Start! Matter Around Us by Amor M. Garcia Solid, liquid, gas. These are the things around us. We can see them, we can touch them, and sometimes we can only feel them. Solid, liquid, gas. We see them every day. We feel them every day. They are lovely. 
because they differ in many ways. They differ in size. They differ in shape. They even differ in color, especially their texture. Solid, liquid, gas. They are useful for us. Let's observe them and learn more about them. You read it well, kids. Good job. Now, do you notice what's in the poem all about? Yes, it's all about matter, kids. Right, matter. According to the poem, matter are the things around us. We can see them, touch them, and feel them. They also differ in size, shape, color, and texture. So what about matter? Let's do our first activity. Listen carefully. There are different objects and materials that can be found at home, in your school, or in your community. And these things are called matters. And they can be solid, liquid, and gas. Now, look around you. Can you name five objects or materials that can be found in your home? Good! Now, get your paper or your notebook and write five objects or materials that you found inside your home. And tell something about their characteristics. Ready? Yay! Take your time, kids. Don't go away from your places because we will pause for a short minute while giving you time to perform your activity. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated. Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, Nen Builders and Development Services Corporation. Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hello, kids! I'm back! Are you still there? What did you write? Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Did you write table? Chair? What else? What about in your school? Did you see pencil? Paper? Notebook? How about in your kitchen? Do you see water in the picture? Okay, good. Don't you worry kids if some of your answers are not mentioned because we have teachers who are assigned to get your paper and check it. Just remember that everything around you is matter. 
Matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. Matter comes in different shapes and sizes. Do you know why matter comes in different sizes and shapes? It is because matter comes in three forms. Solid, liquid, and gas. These forms of matter will fill up space in different ways depending upon how big small or long the object is. Hey kids! I'm back! Are you having fun now? Very good! Now continue our lesson. I want you to open your modules on page 5. Yes! Right there! What is it about solid, liquid, and gas? I want you to read it with me. Are you ready? Very good! So let's start. Solids are objects that we can see and touch. Flowers, tables, and chairs are examples of solids. It has shape, it has color, texture, and size. Liquids are objects that we can touch and see. They change their shape depending on the container. It has weight, Water is a famous example of liquid. Gas is another form of matter. It cannot be seen, but is around us. We can feel it because gas has a weight and occupies space. It has no shape or size. The air we inhale is gas. Wow! You read it well. Can we read it once more? Solids are objects that we can touch and see. Flowers, tables, and chairs are example of solids. It has shape, color, texture, and size. Liquids are objects that we can also touch and see. They change shape depending on the container. It has weight. Water is the famous example of liquid. Gas is another form of matter. It cannot be seen, but is around us. We can feel it. Gas has weight and occupies space. It has no shape or size. The air we inhale is a gas. Okay kids, I want you to prepare another sheet of paper. Still on page 5 of your module, what's more? Everything around us is matter. You can classify them into solid, liquid, and gas. There are pictures of some materials shown in your module. Can you identify them? Alright! Let's do it! Can you name the first picture? Yes! The first picture is pencil. 
Do you know what is a pencil? Very good! Do you have a pencil with you? Perfect! Our next picture is juice. Did you drink any kind of juice? Hmm, how about calamansi juice? Or buko juice? Well, they are nutritious. Our third picture is the smoke from the car. Have you seen a car just like in the picture? Wow! If not, have you seen a motorcycle? Very good! The white thing that comes out at the back of the motorcycle or the car, just like in the picture, is called smoke. Have you seen like this? Perfect! Our fourth picture is the air coming out from the balloon. Have you seen a balloon in birthday parties? Perfect! Now, our fifth picture is water container. Do you have like this at your home? Well, this is a kind of a plastic water container that some are using to store their water. Again, the fifth picture is a water container. And the last picture is milk in a glass. Have you seen a boy drinking his milk in a glass? Very good! Again, the pictures in your module are pencil, juice, smoke from the car, air coming out from the balloon, water container, and milk in a glass. Now, on your page 6, I want you to answer which object is solid? Which object is liquid? And which object is gas? Have you finished answering? Very good! Now, let us try to check your answers. Which object is solid? Very good! The object that is solid is pencil. Now, can you identify more? Perfect! The object that is also solid in the pictures is a water container. Now, which object is liquid? Perfect! The picture that is liquid is the juice. Now, can you identify more? Yes! The milk in a glass. Now, which object is gas? Perfect! The smoke from the car. Can you identify more? Yay! It's the air coming out from the balloon. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good! But for those who didn't get all the answers correctly, don't worry, because we will have more exercises to perform. I want you to turn your modules on page 6. We have another set of pictures there showing examples of matter. They are the different forms of matter. The instruction, write S 
if the object is solid. L if the object is liquid. And G if it is gas. Again, I want you to write S if the object is solid. L if the object is liquid. And G if it is gas. Are you ready? Yes! So let's start with number one. Sweet juice. Number two. An empty glass. Number three. A kilo of nails. Number four. Creamy milk. And number five, air in the balloon. Again, number one, sweet juice. Number two, an empty glass. Number three, a kilo of nails. Number four, creamy milk. And number five, air in the balloon. Take your time, kids. You can now start answering. Can we check your answers now? Perfect! For number one, sweet juice. The answer is... L, liquid. Very good! Now, on number two, an empty glass. The answer is... S, solid. How about number three? A kilo of nail. Uh-huh. The, the answer is S. Solid. Number four. Creamy milk. Very good. The answer is L. Liquid. And number five. Air in the balloon. The answer is G, gas. Perfect! So how's your score, kids? Well done! Don't worry if some of you didn't get the perfect score. Just remember, kids, what you have learned today. On your module on page 6, I want you to read it with me what you have learned today together matter is everything around us it has mass and weight three forms of matter solid liquid and gas again matter is around us it has mass and wait, three forms of matter, the solid, the liquid, and gas. Perfect! 
You get it right, kids! Want to have more exercises? Wow! You really love science, kids! I want you to open your modules on page 7 on what I can do. Again, you are not going to write anything on your modules. Instead, you prepare another sheet of paper to write your answer. Here's the instruction. We all know that objects and materials found at home are called matter. Remember what was teacher Joe discussed a while ago? Well, good! Can you still remember the things or the objects that you found at home? Perfect! Now, on your separate paper, I want you to draw three examples of each phases of matter. The first box is the solid. The second box is the liquid. And the third box is the gas. Is that clear? Again, I want you to draw objects you found at home and separate this according to their faces. The first box is for the solid. The second box is for the liquid. And the third box is for the gas. After you draw, I want you to answer the questions below. What state of matter is the object or material that you draw? Again? What state of matter is the object or material that you draw? So we will have some commercial breaks to allow you to answer those exercises. Happy answering, kids! The Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders. GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Hello! I'm back again! I hope you're done with your activity. So what's for now? It's assessment time! Still on page 7 of your module, you will have to prepare again another separate sheet. Do not write anything on your module, kids! Again, do not write anything on your modules. So here's the direction of our assessment. Write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Again, write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Number 1. Solid has no definite shape and weight. Again, number one. Solid has no definite shape and weight. Number two. A solid can be described through its shape, color, size, and texture. Again, number two, a solid can be described through its shape, color, size, 
and texture. Number three, liquid has the ability to flow. Again, number three, liquid has the ability to flow. Number four, gas occupies the space of the container. Again, number four, gas occupies the space of the container. And number five, liquid and gas take the shape of the container. Again, number five, liquid and gas take the shape of the container. Write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. You can answer it now, kids. So if you are done, your teacher who are with you right now will collect all your papers and they will be the one to check your paper. We are about to finish your lesson kids and for your additional activities, you are going to answer exercises on page 8 of your module. We will answer that next meeting and don't miss our school on air on Science 3 because we have a lot of exciting fun activities to make. Right, Teacher Jo? Right, Teacher Cherry. I hope you have learned a lot from us today. Until next time, kids! This is your teacher on air, Teacher Cherry Rose D. Montero from Compostela Central Elementary School SPED Center. Together with my partner, Teacher Jonalyn Diliray from Anibungan Elementary School of Mako. And this is Teacher Flo saying thank you very much. God bless everyone and mabuhay. Goodbye. Na nagsasabing, dito sa Deped Davao de Oro Radio Z Escuela, siguradong masaya. Here at 88.5 Z Radio, Siguradong linaw, siguradong kuyaw. Hanggang sa muli mga bata, paalam! Rajos Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lorely E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judy Land D. U., Donna D. T. Bolifer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banias. Social Media and Packaging Team 
Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, John T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais.